Vikings have one of the tallest, and the Vikings will throw the second half. Yeah. Vikings will be defending the scoreboard in the field and kicking off. And my camera wanted to.
All year long, these are these guys are the future for their respective squads, their respective high schools. And the 
Vikings have got to be pleased with how this season is starting, taking their neighbors up the north for a quick eight points. There's the kick by Fowle, taken at the 10, and he'll be forced out of bounds. Nicely done. Returner stepped out of bounds near the 10. The returner probably wished that he had let that one go, but in the end, but in the end, he caught it and was forced out of bounds by his own momentum. And the Falcons will take over at the 10. We've got 8.38 left to go in this first quarter. We'll see what the Falcons can engineer to try to wrestle some momentum back from the fast starting Valencia Vikings. They'll go shotgun. And they'll call a timeout. Timeout, Falcons. They'll talk things over. Must have seen something they didn't like in that initial setup there. So they'll burn one and talk about what to do next. Beautiful day here at Valencia High School. It's been hot the last couple weeks as summer winds its way down, but the season might be turning. If today was any indication, beautiful all day long. Perfect temperature for playing some football right about now. Both teams will go back out. Looks like the Falcons will stay in the shotgun. They'll uh, flip trips over to the top of your screen rather than the bottom. And they'll look to pass. Pressure coming off the edge. He gets it. Oh, just past the outstretched fingertips of the intended receiver. He had pressure bearing on him. It looked like it was 24. Brett Kelly coming off the edge, forced the early throw. And if he hadn't, that receiver might still be running because he had a step on the corner. Second and 10, 8.34 left in the first quarter. The Vikings will chase that trips alignment out to the top of the screen. Pressure again, forced up in the middle of the pocket. He's off and running, and he'll slide after a nice little gain, about nine yards. Brings up third and short. He had pressure off the edge, looked like Thomas. Forced him up in the pocket. Quarterback did a nice job of eluding, stepping up, finding a little space to run, and then doing what some pros can't seem to learn, and that's hit the deck, take the slide, and avoid the big hit. Give me third and short. They'll go to the I formation. Hand off up the middle, and I don't know if he got it. I do not know if he got it. If he did, it was not by much. And nope, they're not even going to measure it. They're going to say fourth down. Decision time for the Falcons. Fourth and short. They go for it or they like to the punt. Deep in their own territory. And it looks like the offense is going to stay on the field. A lot of times you hear coaches saying, if we can't get a yard, we don't even need to be out here. And that might be... The mindset these Falcons are uh, taking right here and the fact that they've given up an early eight points. So trying to do any, and they will in fact measure it. I was surprised they didn't initially. They will measure it. And they're going to give it to him. They got it by just the nose of the football. So that takes the decision out of the Palmdale coach's hands and gives the Falcons their first first down of the game. So 
so it didn't look like that run up the gut got much of anything, but it did get enough for the first down. They'll go back to shotgun with the Falcons. Four wide, two by two. Iffy snap, and ooh, that did not look good. Hope he gets up all right, and it looks like he will. A lot of Vikings in the backfield there. One got him around the legs, another hit him high. Usually, or often that can lead to some some pretty bad injuries, but thankfully on that one, he was able to spring back up and no harm done and a nice defensive stop by the Vikings. Gonna bring up second and 11. Ball sitting at the 20. Falcons staying in the shotgun. Oh, and he's got him still on his feet. Stumbling ahead to about midfield. You know, that was a nice ball. I thought the safety was going to be able to get over there, but he wasn't quick enough, and the ball had a just enough pace on it to fit that hole in between the covering corner and the safety rushing over to cover his half of the field. It's a nice ball and a nice catch by the receiver going up high, pointing it, and putting the Falcons just outside of Viking territory. They'll go back to the pistol, two by two. Motion him into just regular shotgun there, looks like. Quick throw out to the flats. Well over the intended receiver's head. Falcons picking up the speed a little bit, in and out of their huddles pretty quickly. That's become um, pretty standard more and more across football in all levels, really. Just picking up the pace, just trying to keep that defense on their heels, not really giving them much time to regroup, reset. Second and 10, ball on the 50. Same pre-snap motion. Steps up in the pocket again. This time he will be sacked. Looked like it was big 93, Jacques Dedarian forcing him down. And the big man will come off the field after putting one in the sack column. Third and long. I think you can expect the Vikings to try to bring a little heat here. The Falcons. Trying to keep this drive alive. Toss left. Some nice cutting. But in the end, too much really to deal with in the backfield. He did well just to get a few. It's going to be fourth and seven. You know, when you're having to juke three guys in your own backfield, you really can't expect much. But he did well there, did the running back. Skittering ahead for about three. The Falcons will punt and try to put the uh, pin, rather, the Vikings back in their own territory. Doyle back to receive again. Nice high punt. He's going to fair catch it. Catches it cleanly. Takes it at the 20. About a 30-yard punt, which really isn't bad at this level. And some nice hang time. Didn't allow Doyle to have an opportunity to return it. And so the Vikings will start their second possession at their 20, much worse field position than their last one. That was a two-play drive that ended in a touchdown strike. It was cop to Smalls on a... Quick little seam route up the gut of that Falcons defense. Lofted it over their heads. Nothing they could do about it. Cop will lead him back out there. Wilson, his running back. They're going shotgun. Two by two. Flags down. Too many men on the field, perhaps. A delay of game penalty against the Vikings will move the ball back. Calling it a delay of game. 
You know, those kind of procedural penalties, they, they tend to come hot and heavy more so than usual in these opening games. Those are things that coaches hate, but really there's only one way to really eradicate them, and that's giving your guys game experience. So they'll start first and 15. Quick little screen pass out to Doyle. And the Falcon corner did a nice job of evading that block and made the tackle and around Doyle's knees, stopping him before he could really get started. Going to bring up second and 13, it looks like. Ball sitting on the 19. They'll stay in the shotgun. Trips to the top of your screen. Looking to the trip side, he'll unleash it. A little high, just off the fingertips of Doyle, looks like who looks like the target man early for this Vikings offense. Trying to find him, looked like a little all verts concept. Trying to make the safeties play in their halves choose. He had a little opening, but the pass was too high. So it'll be third and 12. Wouldn't be surprised to see him try the same thing here. Something down the field, try to pick up his first down. Two by two set and whistle blows the play dead. It's like some confusion there. It's all sorted out. Looking for a little bubble screen and oh, nearly intercepted but caught by Smalls. And then wrestled down by the very man who almost had an interception. They're trying a little tunnel screen concept there. Defense was not fooled. Played their assignments. Sniffed it out. Forced the fourth and nine. Very nearly intercepted. That could have been a pick six. And the Vikings are, are going to go for it, looks like. Unless they're trying some kind of quick punt. That, that first team offense still out there. Very interesting call. They're going to take a shot, going deep into double coverage and caught. Unbelievable. Quan Glass, but then a fumble. A fumble at the end of the reception. Glasgow fighting for extra yardage. One of the stranger plays you'll ever see. Fourth and nine from their own 19. Vikings go for it, get it, with just a prayer thrown out to Glasgow, who takes it in. And then fighting for extra yards, Glasgow is stripped. And the Falcons get it. So in the end, it basically amounts to a pretty decent punt for the Vikings. And they'll take over at the the Falcons will at their own 36, 37. <laughs> crazy, crazy stuff. It's a give, and there is nothing there. Wilson putting him in the spin chamber there. Throwing him down for a big loss. This Viking defensive front is dominating so far early. There's just not a lot of room for these pretty talented Falcon backs to operate. There's two or three guys every time they get the ball in their face, and sometimes they're able to make a miss, but too many guys flying to the ball on that Viking defense, and uh, they've got to be pretty pleased with how they're starting this, this season off on that front seven. They'll go shotgun, trips to the bottom of your screen. Pistolback comes up to form regular shotgun. Up the middle they go, and it falls incomplete. It was Shockley who had a chance at the interception. And both sides really uh, kind of using the same type of concepts and their passing game, really attacking that seam up the middle of the field 
trying to find a little bit of space in between the linebackers and safeties. Mixed results so far for both. Trips to the bottom. They'll look to pass again. Pressure gets to him, and it's going to force him out of bounds. So he's tackled out of bounds. Looked like it was number 10, Marcus Andrews, who tracked him down there after pressure from several other Vikings. It was Andrews that finished him off. And these Vikings are getting after it. A lot of different guys applying pressure. A lot of different guys making plays. Fourth and long. No doubt about it here from the Falcons. They're going to punt. Gets another decent one off. And oof. And that's going to be an infraction of the fair catch there. I think maybe the Falcon thought that because he bobbled it just a little bit, that gave him license to smash him. But no, he caught it well enough to keep that fair catch call intact. That's going to be an easy call for the referees. Doyle was, Doyle was charging hard, and he didn't First catch it quite clean. The but the referees are going to honor that fair catch call and tack on 15 for the punt coverage man that blasted him. A little bit of gray there. If you were going to argue the other side of it, I would, I would listen to you. So Vikings will start on the Falcon 36. Another excellent starting field position. Davis Cop, the 5'10 freshman, key in this offense. Give up the middle. It's Thomas on the carry. He's going to be brought behind the line of scrimmage. Couldn't really get anything started there. Second and 11 now. We've got 140 left to go in this opening quarter. Thomas will come off. Wilson will go back on at the tailback spot. They'll go under center, one man in the backfield. Toss to Wilson. Will cut underneath one and fall forward for a nice game. Showing a little bit of shiftiness at the beginning of the run, finishing it with a little bit of power. He looks like the total package back there. Going to bring third up third and five. and five. They'll go quick. I formation. There's a timeout on the Falcons. If I had to bet, I, I think they were going to try that quarterback sneak again that got them nine last time they tried it. They went quick to the line of scrimmage, tight splits along the line. Uh, I think that's what was coming. The Falcons call the timeout. Going to bring up third and five when we come back. Vikings trying to extend that lead. You're watching Live Play Sports TV. Live Play is going to be covering all of the freshman season for the Valencia Vikings brought to you in part by Advocare. It's going to be a fun, fun year football. Shotgun formation. Hard count from Cop draws them off sides. Nicely done by the freshman signal caller. 
We're using the hard count, picking up a cheap five. Good heady move. And the Vikings, it looks like, have a play call ready to go. So as soon as the referee drops this thing, they're going to be ready to try that. Looks like the quarterback sneak for all the world. Nope, give to the fullback. And it's Doyle flashing ahead for the first down. Not your typical uh, fullback's build there, Doyle. He's usually lined up as a uh, receiver. But he lined up at fullback there, took the handoff, and picked up the first down. First and 10 on the Falcons 20. Fakes the give. Cop rolling to his left, trying to hit his man on the. Nope, he's going to check it down, and the intended receiver cannot pull it down. It was Brett Kelly. It was a little behind him, a little behind him, and he could not reach back and secure it. They were trying to flood that side of the field. They had a man sprinting to the pylon. There was pretty solid coverage on him, so Cop elected to check it down and couldn't connect up with Kelly. It's going to bring up second and ten. Still in the shotgun. Thomas, the one man in the backfield with him. It's going to be a give to Thomas. Who loses the ball, but looks like he got it back. Thomas the ball here. Nope. The Falcons were able to get it at the bottom of that pile, it looks like. Thomas put it on the turf, and it looked like he got it back, but the Falcons defender was able to get a hand in there and wrestle it for himself. So that's a big turnover for the Falcons, and maybe, maybe they can swing the momentum of this game back to their side. They'll go under center eye formation. Give to the tailback. He's going to stutter step and then put his foot in the ground and get up field for about five. Nice first down pickup by the tailback. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. And apart from that last turnover, it was all Vikings for pretty much the entire opening quarter. But that fumble in the end, forced by the Palmdale Falcons defense, could it perhaps swing the momentum and make this 9-0 game a little bit more competitive? We'll see. You're watching LivePlaySports.tv freshman coverage all year brought to you by AdvoCare. Stay with us. All right, second and five for the Falcons. Looks like they'll go wildcat here. 
option. And nothing doing, snuffed out by the Vikings defense. They read that all the way. Trying to give the hot hand the ball immediately. And nothing doing. The Vikings swarming. They'll stay in that wildcat look. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Fake the give. Quarterback keeper puts it on the ground. Both sides motioning for it to stay, but it will be Vikings ball. So fumble by the Vikings, fumble by the Falcons. It'll go back to the Vikings. Looked like it was Marcus Andrews who recovered that football. Wildcat quarterback doing a little read option look. Try to keep it, maybe a little bit miscommunication off the fake give. Put it on the ground, and Andrews was there to scoop it up for the Vikings. And after the Falcons thought that maybe they had gotten a little bit of momentum, the Vikings take it right back. And I wouldn't be surprised if they take a shot here deep in Falcons territory. Cop will drop back. Looking down the field, pressure. He's going to keep it and slides for a gain of about five, four or five maybe. A nice job by Cop. Didn't really see anything he liked downfield. Pressure came. He ducked his shoulder, stepped up in the pocket and got what he could and keeps the Vikings on time, on schedule. 11-16 to go in the second quarter. They'll stay in the shotgun. Wilson next to Cop. Two by two on either side. Fake the give to Wilson. Rolling right. Flooding that zone. He's got a man. He's going to throw it. And it was too high. Quan Glasgow, who had the big catch but then fumble earlier, was wide, wide open. Coaches, when they review this one, probably going to tell Cop to get rid of that thing a little bit sooner. He had him. And in the end, the pass was just a little too high. Brings up third and five. Glasgow will come off the field. Number 80, Matthew Cotti will come on in place of him. Wilson will remain the man in the backfield. Give to Wilson. And he runs with those yellow gloves, breaks one tackle, then another. Diving for the end zone, and they're going to mark him just shy at about the two-yard line. He broke a tackle, got to the outside, broke another, and then just powered his way towards the end zone. Now Wilson he comes from a uh, nice bloodline. His older brother was a standout performer for the Valencia Varsity squad last year. And the Vikings find another Wilson to power an offensive attack. They'll look to pass, and they'll give it to Wilson, and he can tiptoe into the end zone for a touchdown. Javon, Javon Wilson. Takes the screen pass. Defense was completely fooled. Nice sales job there by Cop. Dumped it off to him, and that's about as easy as it gets. Fobel will attempt the PAT. Cop to hold. Gets it down for him, and Fobel. Boots it through, showing a nice leg for this freshman squad. Valencia has a rich tradition of competent kickers, and Faba looks to be the next in line there, converting both PATs, doing a nice job on kickoff, and he'll get another shot at it here in just a moment. The 
So the Vikings force a turnover after they gave up one of their own. And then they went Javon Wilson, Javon Wilson. Two plays. That the first got them close and the second one finished it off. Gives them that 16-0 lead you see on the scoreboard. 10.36 left to go in the second quarter. All Vikings so far. Another nice kick by Fowl at about the 10. That seemed to be where he's painting. Let's just watch so it. Okay. We'll just have to watch it. it and and that looks like maybe a face mask on the end of that return. It was a nice return. And it was only Take it to about the 32. Like three of those were, were still lit up. When I came down. And if it is, in fact, a face mask, that'll be another 15. We're going to put it up to 47. It is, in fact, a personal foul face mask. Looked like on the end of that run, uh, the cover man just had an arm a little too high. Unintentional, but there's no more of those in football anymore. There used to be a uh, five-yard face mask of the unintentional variety, and then there was, of course, the personal foul 15-yarder when you saw the guy really get his hands in there. They got rid of that, really asking too much subjectively from the referees, and so... Every face mask call now a 15-yard penalty. And that will give the Falcons the ball at the 47-yard line. Stack in the box. Up the middle they go, and really their first push along that offensive line they've gotten, creating enough room for the fullback to take that little dive play for about six. And so that takes them inside Viking territory. And they'll take it if they can really start to get some push along that Valencia line. Valencia has just been nothing short of dominant so far in the early going, controlling the line of scrimmage. But they're stacking the box, are the Falcons really going tied up in there. They'll give it to their talented running back who's getting wide, it's a race. It's a race he's gonna win to the outside before he's forced out of bounds. Out and around the 25. And all of a sudden, the Falcons finding a little offensive groove here in the second quarter. Up the middle and then out wide. First down. That look, three running backs, they give to that center back, fullback. It's about three, maybe four. And it was Andrews on the tackle. Chasing. He avoids him, but that's a host of Vikings defenders led by Cade Erickson, who will bring him down after about a three yard gain. backfield look up the middle they go and he's going to be wrestled behind the line of scrimmage it was Grayson Thomas who got back there and stopped him before he could really even get going going to be fourth and five now ball on the Valencia 21 
Hopkins will go for it. And they will keep that offense out there. Going back to the spread here. They look to throw. Pressure coming on the outside. And he's still on his feet. Going to get rid of it. Caught. It's going to be a first down after it looked for all the world that he was brought down for the sack. It was Thomas applying the pressure, but he was able to stay on his feet, avoid getting taken down, get the pass off, and his man was there to high point it and barrel ahead for the first down. Little Johnny Manziel looking play there. Ball now inside the 10. And the Falcons go back to their three-man backfield. Stat look fumble. Quarterback gets it back, still on his feet. And maybe gets a yard as he tries to make the most out of nothing, really. That was doomed from the start. Bad quarterback center exchange there. Second and goal from the six. So execution, a little bit of a concern here for the Falcons. They've got some playmakers. But too often, it seems, they're shooting themselves in the foot. And the Vikings all too ready to take advantage. Second and goal. 6.42 left before half. Back to the spread. Toss wide. He's going to race it and win it. Touchdown, Falcons. Number 17 is in for the touchdown. They tossed it out wide to their man, and they said, hey, go beat him to the pylon. That's what he did. He got to the edge, no contain from the Vikings, and he was able to just get inside the end zone there before Pursuit could get to him. The Falcons get on the board, and this game all of a sudden gets a lot more interesting as the Falcons – Starting to click on offense. A little swinging gate look, it looks like. They'll go for it. And they'll get it. Two point Two conversion point is good. Is good. And you see that at the uh, college game a little bit, not really in, at the NFL level, but. With six minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the Really, that's a situation where the holder or whoever's calling the play, if he sees numbers that he likes, he's going to call for the two point conversion. If he doesn't see the numbers he wants, then he's going to motion his team back to standard PAT formation. Looked like there, there wasn't enough Vikings to cover, so they went ahead and tried it, and they got it. An easy two points. Falcons will kick from their 40. Doyle and Wilson back to return for the Vikings. Try a little squib. It's going to fall to Smalls, who picks up a nice gain to about the 45. Smalls, of course, caught that early touchdown pass to put the first six points up on the board after the, the safety. Pounced on by the Vikings. So that Vikings offense will huddle up and try to answer a pretty impressive scoring drive from the Falcons. Maybe the most memorable play of that series was their quarterback with couple of Vikings around his ankles, standing up and delivering a ball to his receiver. He kept the drive alive on fourth down. Cop will lead his squad back out there. Pistol formation. Give up the middle. It's Wilson. Running hard to about the 39. No, 49 rather. Correction. Seven-yard gain on the play will bring up second and three. So after that seven-yard gain, 
Vikings will be looking at a second and short. The whole playbook open in front of them here. Fake to give to Wilson. And he'll deliver it to Erickson, who tried to hurdle there. And he's brought down for the first down picking up reception. Nice job by Cobb, really threaded that wood in there to Erickson, who brought it in no problem. Very smooth passing catch from the two Viking freshmen. Quick throw out to Erickson, and he's not able to bring it in. Probably better that he couldn't catch it anyways because he was headed to the turf, and that would have been a loss. He's going to bring up second and ten. Pass just a little too far in front. That's something you got to really hammer down in practice because the quarterback wants to lead his guy to give him a little bit of momentum after the catch, but not by that much. So... Receiver has got to figure out his steps. Quarterback needs to know where his receiver is going to be. They get that timing aspect down. That can be a nice little play. But it will be second and ten. Cop operating out of the shotgun. Give to Wilson. Pressure in the backfield. Going to bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Lost a shoe in the process. Did the Falcon tackler, but he did not lose Wilson, who has proved elusive so far today here at Dr. Paul Lay Pre Stadium. Tonight's action here in Valencia, covering this freshman game. Live Play Sports will be on the road tomorrow in Palmdale, if I'm not mistaken. Covering Valencia's varsity. Third and long. Cop rolling right. Unleashes it. Got a man. It's Doyle. Joshua Doyle gets behind that Falcons defense and reels in the beautiful fade throw from Davis Cop. Yeah, I got it. The quarterback. The quarterback, y'all. Another touchdown pass from Cop. His third of the day. One to Smalls, one to Wilson, and that last one to Doyle. Cop doing it all. He's going to hold the extra point here for Fogel. Looks like the Vikings trying to make sure they have everybody out there. Might be missing one. They're going to burn a timeout. Nope, flag down. Delay a game by the Vikings. Looked like they had some personnel issues out there. Couldn't get it figured out. So that'll back him up five and really test foul Fogel's leg here. He's been perfect so far. So we'll see what he can do now that he has to kick. A 25-yarder. Hold is good. Kick is up, and it hits the upright. No good. It had the distance, no problem, but shanked off the upright. So that takes the score to 22 to eight. Valencia on top with 440 left to go in this first half. You're watching Live Play Sports TV's coverage of Valencia freshmen covering all season. Brought to you in part by Advocare.
Foba will kick. A little bit of a pooch. Take him up to 25, and he's going to be brought down. Looks like it was Rue Minami. And I apologize to Mr. Minami if I butcher that first name. But he was there on the tackle, making the special teams play. Ball on the 36 yard line of the Falcons. That's where the Falcons of Palmdale will take over. They're going back to that stacked backfield. Old school. And it's the give off tackle. Nothing much there. That Vikings defense continuing to stand tall. Looked like it was Robert Brimer. Number 52 there, bringing him down for no gain. So one play under center, one play back to the spread. That seems to be the pattern for the Falcons. They'll look to throw it. Steps up in the pocket. He's going to be brought down for the sack. I hesitated because last time it looked like he was sacked. He stayed on his feet and delivered a pass, but that time it was Thomas. It was Forbes, Forbes teaming up for the sack. Loss of about five on the play will bring up third and 15. Vikings bringing the pressure and bringing it hot. You're seeing a lot of defensive tackle types get into the backfield, which is pretty impressive. Uh, it's one thing to have the defensive ends sort of tearing around the edge, but when you can get that push up front, get that penetration of the backfield up the middle, that really can handicap an offense. They take a shot. That's going to be well out in front of the intended receiver there. But as I was saying, you get that push up front, you get that penetration from your, your nose guard position, I mean, you are really putting an offense in a tough spot because now the quarterback, every time he snaps and looks back to, to throw it, he's got a big, big man in his face. Hard to run an effective offense that way. And Valencia's doing a nice job of it. Really getting pressure up the gut of this Falcons offensive attack. They'll punt it, will the Falcons. And there's going to be early movement there at the bottom of your screen. You saw it. Looking to get started a little early, trying to track down this punt. It's going to be a quick five towards the Palmdale end zone. Three minutes left to go in the second quarter. Valencia on top, 22 to eight. And they'll look to add on to it here. Doyle has already caught a receiving touchdown, maybe a punt return touchdown here. This one's a little lower than usual. He's going to, oh, and fumbles it and taken. And that ball is live. I don't know what the Falcon is thinking. <laughs> that ball was pretty much gift wrapped to him and he thought the play was dead, I guess, because he was just standing there saying, look what I found. <laughs> and Doyle muffs it after the fair catch. I thought he had time to really bring that thing down and, and make a return out of it. He elects the fair catch and, and then couldn't bring it in. So uh, the first miscue by Doyle covering punt so far today. He's done a nice job of calling fair catches and securing the ball. And So Falcons got new life on offense. They'll look to throw it. Pressure coming, it's Wilson. It's Wilson followed by 56 Forbes, Justice Forbes. It was Javon Wilson coming with ferociousness after the quarterback and Forbes all too happy to clean it up. 
maybe a little too zealous there at the end, but he was just making sure he was down, I think. Referee's warning him off. I think these Vikings defenders smell a little blood in the water. They're getting after the quarterback. You can pretty much tell when the Falcons are gonna pass, when they're gonna run. They're, they're going old school stacked backfield whenever they're looking to pound the rock and then they're going back to the shotgun whenever they're looking to throw it. And that's sort of been the case here the last quarter or so. So we'll see if that holds here as they go shotgun. We'll see if they pass. Nope, they'll give it on the jet sweep. And he is smoked by 24, Brett Kelly, who did a nice job of reading his keys and getting upfield and making the play. And the Falcons have got third and a mile staring them down after two plays for huge losses that have brought them all the way back to the 30 they started at their own 48 and now they're they're at their 30 so two plays minus 18 yards not what you really wanted after getting a turnover off their off their punt Tell you, it gets real pretty out here when the sun starts to fall, coming down over those mountains, throwing up a little bit of mist. Good day for football. Third and long for the Falcons. Going up the field, taking a shot. He's open. He's got it. <laughs> and a first down. Third and 28. And they get it. That'll drive a defensive coordinator up the wall. You spend two downs just straight dominating, and then you give up a 28-yard third down Hail Mary. Coaching staff for the Vikings not going to be happy with that one, and the Falcons, they just will not die. They're like a walking dead zombie. They are just not going down, getting back up, stepping back up to the mat. They take another shot and caught. What a catch by 44. High pointing it. That was nice. I mean, he ID'd that ball up in the air, leapt up there, and really put two hands on it with authority. And Palmdale, perhaps, perhaps, finding a little bit of an opening in that Vikings defense, in that Vikings secretary. When the quarterback, secondary rather, not secretary, when that quarterback has time to throw, and he hasn't had a lot of it tonight, he is finding some openings down the field, taking shots out of the backfield. Got him diving, can't catch it. Little wheel route from the running back out of the backfield. He was open, but the pass just a little too far in front. Could not bring it down, but he looked good going after it, didn't he? Second and 10 now. Falcons. Looking to breathe a little, a little bit of more momentum into this fire they've got cooking. They could really use this score here before this first half winds to a close. 106 left to go in the second quarter. Second and 10, ball sitting on the Valencia 18. Looking to throw it. Steps up in the pocket. Pressure gets to him. Flag on the play. It was Wilson. Who got the sack? We'll see what the call is as we check in with the white hat. Gonna be holding. There's a holding call against the Falcons. Penalty will be declined by the Vikings. 
So the Vikings will decline it. And instead of the second and long, they'll take the third and long. Because in the end, that was a pretty big loss forced by Wilson, who's been doing it on both sides of the ball here today. Looking good running the ball. And looking pretty fierce making some tackles. Timeout's going to give both sides time to talk it over. And it's an interesting time in this game because you got to think, Valencia can get a stop here, keep this score 22 to 8. The Falcons are going to be hard pressed to really make a game out of this the way the Vikings have consistently moved the ball up and down the field. But if they can score here, find a way to punch it in. I think we've got ourselves a ball game that could maybe just go down to the wire depending on how both sides come out after the halftime break. Falcons are ready. They're coming back out. And the Vikings are too. The sunlight glancing off their purple domed helmets. They're going to try to get a stop here. Third and about 15. The Falcons of Palmdale Going back to that spread look. Shotgun offense. Pressure coming. It's Wilson again. Chasing him from behind, and he is close, but I don't think he got the first down. We'll see where they mark it. It is very close. And nope, he did not get the first down, but he got with in a yard of it, it looks like. And really a nice job by the quarterback. I thought Wilson, as fast as he is, was going to track him down a lot sooner, but the boy's fight or flight response was in high gear. And he was running for that first down marker, and he just about got it. So it's going to be four than short. Big play, 52 seconds left to go in the second quarter. They'll go under center. And he'll try to sneak it, and he got it. Quarterback keeper appears to have the first down. He got the first down off the keep. And going to set the Falcons up for first and goal with 46 seconds left to go in the second quarter. This has been an exciting game. A lot of action, a lot of crazy plays, a lot of Fun stuff going on. And uh, Falcons going to, nope, Vikings rather going to take a timeout here to talk things over and try to engineer a goal line stand and uh, keep the two possession lead intact. You're watching LivePlaySports.tv's coverage. We're covering all the Valencia freshman games all year, brought to you in part by Advocare. Winning takes hard work, dedication, and commitment. Professional and world-class athletes use Advocare products. Why? Because they work. Scientifically formulated, independently tested, and proven to give us the results that we're looking for, to compete at a championship level. Are you looking for results? Advocare, use it, the pros do. sides coming out of the tight end ready to get it going first and goal for the Falcons down two scores with 46 seconds left to go in the second quarter testing the edge of that defense and picking up a couple 
clock will run inside of 30 seconds now. Falcons quick back to the ball. Looking to throw it and it falls incomplete. Could have easily been intercepted. Looked like it was Erickson, Kate Erickson in coverage. Made a nice play on the ball and just about brought it down for the interception. Sixteen seconds now. Got about three yards to go for Payter for the Falcons. They'll go with the quarterback sneak and he got it. It was a bold play call about three yards out to go with the quarterback sneak, but those sneaks have been effective for both sides. Really just taking the snap, tucking up underneath your center and diving ahead for what you can. He did that there and got the touchdown. And so 12 seconds left in the second quarter. The Falcons take their point total up to 14. And We'll see if they can tack on this extra point. Holds good, but the kick is not. So a downer for the Falcons on an otherwise very, very positive note to end this first half. That score, 22-14. Valencia Vikings up, but the Falcons may be taking back a little bit of momentum just before this half winds to a close. You're watching LivePlaySports.tv's coverage of Valencia. Bla, bla, bla. The Valencia Freshman, brought to you in part by AdvoCare. We'll be right back. to give his size. Erickson on the return. Smartly runs out of bounds to give the Vikings just enough time to get one, maybe, maybe two plays off before this quarter and the half comes to a close. We'll see if Cop's the man to take the shot or if maybe they got perhaps a bigger arm on the roster that they're just gonna get to go out there and just sling it down the field. Maybe throw it out to Doyle or Glasgow or Wilson. Maybe Smalls who caught that first touchdown. Give him a shot to just go up and get it. It will be Cop in at quarterback. Drop him back. Gets it out to the sideline. It's Doyle. He should have got out of bounds. He did not. That will. And they'll burn a timeout. Valencia will burn a timeout. Doyle has got to know, though, in the future to just get out of bounds in that situation. Got to know the clock situation. Get out of bounds. Give your team time. And, no, they did not have a timeout, did the Vikings. They were forced to try to clock it. But any – Basic knowledge of the clock would tell you you can't spike it with less than two seconds. It's going to give out on you. So maybe a waste of an Winning opportunity for the Vikings there to close out the half. They will take the eight-point lead into the locker room. Products. Palmdale Why? Falcons have some things they because can they build work. off, though. We will Scientifically come back formulated, to shaping up to independently be a tested, second half. and proven to give us the results that we're looking here on live to compete at a championship level. Are you looking for results? We'll right back Advocare. To close this thing Use out. it. Stay with the us. pros do.
Felton is set to kick off to begin the second half. Wilson and Doyle back received for the Vikings. at the 39 where the Vikings will have it first and ten. And Wilson has the first down and more. Finally knocked out of bounds near the 32-yard line. Game is to the Falcon 32. First and 10 Vikings. Cal. You know, a bunch of these kids, Quan and Doyle and, you know, my son Marcus and a bunch of them all came out of the Vikings program with Coach Lewis and, you know, you could just really see the coaching on these mm -hmm. kids and making a difference. Yeah, there's a lot of very, very well developed for freshmen. I mean, you got to remember that watching this, these guys go out there, they're spreading around, they're throwing it up and down the field, making plays. And they're just freshmen. A lot of, a lot of room for growth as they go forward with their high school careers. The swing pass dropped by Wilson. Had it. Now, it Wilson is, you know, outside of that one right there. But he's on five. I got to tell you, because I've been watching him, and I'm like, man, tonight he just has turned it up a whole nother notch. He is running over people. He is just, like, bringing it. It's exciting to see that. Now, he's playing with an attitude. Yeah. Exactly. And you can see that. Huh. It's that third and long. Cop been doing a nice job all night. Yeah, take it out of the shotgun. Dumps it down to Wilson. Not much there. Rayo, tell us a little bit about Advocare. I know I'm sitting I'm sitting here drinking this mango pineapple, and I was surprised how good it was. <laughs> Usually you get these health drinks from people, and you're like, oh, thanks. This is actually really tasty. No, it is good stuff, and that's what they have on the MLS soccer fields, the OTG. It's our very healthy version of that other colored drink. And, you know, the main thing about Avocare is it's tested for over 200 banned substances. So um, these kids want an edge, but we don't want it at a detrimental factor, you know, and that's what I love about Avocare. Absolutely. As we watch this next play, faking it to Wilson. Cop rolling left. Takes a shot. Oh, oh just off the hands of Smalls, I believe it was. Yep, Zay for Smalls. Now, I'll tell you an interesting story about Zay for. I love how much he's grown and how far he's coming. I, he used to go to school over there at Bridgeport with my son. And at the time, I believe he, he was into just running. And I used to see him all the time and try to talk to his mom into football, and she was like, no, no. And then I finally, you know, she agreed to let him play, and he has just turned into a he's stud. A stud. He's oh, a my stud gosh. Sure. I mean, he, he's got that build of your prototypical just wide out and go up and get it. It kind of makes you feel good as a coach when you kind of go, I saw that. I saw, I saw it. That. I saw it early. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Scouting him early. We brought down, looked like it was 52. Brimer, who's been in on a lot of plays. 
Rhymers, you know, I see that's another. His dad's been out on the field every day, too. And, you know, that kid is such a humble kid. He's been through the program for years. And just to see him grow up, and I mean, look at the number. He's got 52, and he's making that number proud. You know, there's an NFL guy player who we can all think of. Absolutely. Who wears that number? Absolutely. He's filling those holes and really playing downhill, which is what you want out of that Mike linebacker spot. Palmdale back to the spread. A little jet sweep look. Quarterback keeper. Quarterback keeper. Oh. So I think the Vikings went went back at half, got a little talking to by the coaching staff, and they they seem to be kind of back in that early game form that they were in to start things out. Yeah, that was a, you know, hey, you got to, when you get those opportunities, that was a proud dad moment right there. Well, Mark is making the play. <laughs> yeah, he ran, he got back in there, filled that hole. And That's right. Mark has you know. been all over the place here earlier. It's covering a fumble, getting a sack or two. Mm -hmm. These kids are a bunch of good kids here, and I got to tell you, I'm excited to be, I, I think it's going to be one of the best freshman teams going through that we've seen in a long time. The bright future for sure for Valencia's football program. Pressure off the edge. Looked like a holding there. Yeah. No flat. Oh, come late, it looks like. <laughs> a little bit of delay there. I wonder if he's watching the same game we are. Cause it, like it, it was it, Thomas it, coming around the edge, getting held. Yeah. Another kid who I've seen grow up, a good friend, uh, you know. Just a stud. Just an animal. Just got a sense to find that ball and you know, I just really love what you guys are doing here with the live sports. and That way more people are going to be able to see it. Grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle. Everybody can get in and see their... Yeah, that's the idea, Rails. We're, we're, bringing, uh, we're bringing these kind of games that otherwise wouldn't be broadcast, and we're putting them up on the web. So friends and family from around the country, parents that can't make it to a game, uh, maybe out on a business trip, can tune in and see it live, see it on demand later in the week, later in the month. It's going to be there for you. Punts off. It's going to end up being pretty short on the net as it takes a Vikings bounce to the Palmdale 49. So, Rail is a guy that wants to improve their athletic performance. So like a lot of these kids out here will want to do in the off season. We're just closing out the summer. We're getting into fall, starting the football season. But for next summer, for next off season, guys want to train. What's what's something that Advocare brings to the table to help these kids get to the next step? Absolutely. Uh, we'll watch this play and I'll answer that question for you. It's Wilson in the backfield. They're going to rumble ahead of that quarterback keeper. The number one thing, you know, I get that question a lot. We got over 70 different products. And a lot of times I get, you know, if you were just to take one product, what would be the most important? And hands down, you know, I'm a strength coach. I've been training kids for years. It's post-workout. We got a phenomenal post-workout recovery. Um, and that should be in every kid's locker room. Is that protein shake to, to recover and another stuff in there? I mean, Rest on the ball carrier. Well, it is, a, it is a shake, but it's not per se the protein shake. You know, okay. the post-workout is a mixture of 38 grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. A protein shake is higher on the protein side, 25. And a lot of people think that's exactly what they need after workout, the protein shake. Right. But it's actually reversed. They need that post-workout. And, you know, the number one thing, what are kids trying to do? Coach, I need to get 10, 15 pounds on my son. Right. I can't put any weight on him. That's a great way to do it. We've had great success with kids. I got gotcha. you. And we'll operate out of the shotgun. Cop fakes the give, rolls left, trying to beat his man. it will be tracked down for a big loss. Out back to around midfield, going to bring up second and about 20. I've got to tell you, Davis is uh, really, I mean, he's once again been there from the beginning, and I just love how he's commanding Davis Cobb, the quarterback, commanding the field right now. He's really stepped up. He's taken charge. He's, I mean, the, you know, I know the game's a little tight. I don't think the score really shows what's really happened. We've had a few mishaps, but 
it's part of the process as long as we come out with a win at the end, you know. No, Cop is, is done. I've been impressed with Cop's command of the offense, mm -hmm. his ability to get his team out there in the right formation. He's delivering the ball on time on target, which is the most important thing from that quarterback position. He's going to take another shot here, dumps it down to Doyle. And a big hit on Doyle, gain of about eight, seven or eight or so. I love that door. I got to tell you, that kid could take a hit. Yeah. I love how he, you got know right what? Back up. He, fin he always finishes with what, what I call nasty. Yeah. He gets up, and even if he was hurt, you wouldn't know it. Absolutely. He just gets up and gives you that. Absolutely. Because that was a big hit he just took he right took there. He took a shot. Yeah. He took a shot. All right, third and about 13. They're going to stay in the shotgun. Palmdale really would like a stop here to keep this thing in a one possession game. They're gonna send Doyle out left, gonna throw it immediately to him. And he's tackled pretty soon after the catch. You can see Doyle's got that electricity in his feet, but Palmdale doing a nice job of really keeping him from really doing a lot of damage after the catch. Yeah, you know, it kind of looks like, uh, you know, Palmdale went to halftime and did a little talk on the side there and figured some things out because they're looking like a little bit of a different team right now. Especially on defense. Mm -hmm. uh, they're really flying to the ball with a lot more authority and really standing up a little bit firmer along that front, which has is, is kind of been dominated so far by Valencia. Fourth down, Vikings are going to go for it. Holding on to the ball, going to take the sack. They were not getting this pressure on us in the first half, no. and now they are. And that time, Cop had a little bit of time, couldn't find anyone downfield, tried to push it up, but that pocket collapsed on him, and he had to take the sack, and that's going to be Palmdale ball. And once again, they seem to just keep hanging around, hanging around. We talked about it a little bit in the break. You, you let a, a scrappy bunch like these Palmdale Falcons hang around, very well could make it a toss-up here late. Yeah. We don't really like to be sitting in this position ever. They're going to drop back, push it up the pocket. Quarterback, Quarterback scrambling. He's got yardage. Going to pick up that first down and run out of bounds. I don't I think that looked like that. Do you think that was a design play there? I think they kind of. It could have been a quarterback draw. Yeah. It looked like maybe they were trying to hit 44 again, their big-time receiver that had made so many plays down the field in the first half, and it looked like Valencia had rotated a safety over, and the quarterback read that and just decided to tuck it in. And I think he's – honestly, I think he's got one read, and it's get it to 44. Yeah. If that's not there, try to make something happen with your feet. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right there. I'll go out of the pistol. Toss. And hard running, but very solid team defense yeah. by the Vikings. I'd like to see that swarm in action, four or five guys to the ball. Absolutely. And there's one guy hitting him about three, four yards in the backfield, and he's doing a nice job of eluding that first tackler and, and, and running hard, but when you're getting hit that far behind, it's it's tough. It's tough to really get something going. And, and the Vikings are, have been really good with their tackling, which is something you like to see early in the season as guys that are really tackling and wrapping up. Takes a hit but delivers the pass. Got him. But puts it on the turf. That ball's loose. And it looks like Valencia recovers. It was 24. Brett Kelly. Mm, nice. They got it. Once again, the deep ball hurting the Vikings in the secondary, but doing a nice job of being opportunistic and forcing the turnover. And I tell you, that quarterback took a shot. He did, didn't he? I saw that too, right? I was paying attention to the play down here. How did he get up? He got up a little slow, but I think I think he'll. We'll see how he comes back. But again, going downfield, that's sort of been the Achilles' heel of this Vikings defense, which has otherwise been pretty dominant early going. Downfield passes. Really just kind of throwing it up for their playmakers to go get it. That time it looked like a busted coverage. He was pretty open. But in the end, they were fortunate to get that ball on the turf and get it back. Quarterback 
Quarterback keeps it, Cop. Cop on the keeper. Brought down. And about 10, 11 yards, going to be enough for the first down. As much as I don't like to be in this position, I like to be in this position because it comes down to good coaching and good playing. It's a nail biter, mm -hmm. but you know, I like to see it. And it can oftentimes be a great teaching moment for later in the season to get this sort of game out of the way early where you, you've got a, a team that maybe you think you should handle easily and you're not doing that like you should and then you say, okay guys, maybe we, we need to buy in a little bit more in practice and buy in a little bit more during our adjustments and try to get these things where we think they should be on a scoreboard perspective. Wilson, the ball carrier. Wilson light on his feet for such a big kid, but I think he fumbled it. Oh my God. I think we got it back though. He did fumble, but I think we got it back. And he does put it on the ground, but gets it back. There's been a couple fumbles by the Vikings running backs. And you can't have that as a uh, no as a running team putting it on the turf. Wilson, such a big kid, but looks really light on his feet. He comes from from good bloodline. Yeah, that's what we said earlier. He uh, he's got that older brother that came through this program that, that made some noise. Cop rolling right. It's Doyle. Nice little broken play connection there. Doyle and Cop showing some chemistry here yeah. to open the season up. Yeah. And you know, your chemistry, you mentioned chemistry. That's a great word because a lot of these kids that you're seeing right now, they don't just uh, practice and play together. They actually hang off hours, and that builds that chemistry that is important. Yeah, and you can take two you know, great athletes and put them on the field together. And if they don't have that sort of connection between quarterback and receiver that you can't really measure, then a lot of times you don't have that same effectiveness on offense. But Cop, Doyle, the play breaks down. They sort of find each other down the field. A hard count again by Cop. That's another thing he's done well is engineer that hard count a couple of different times and, and get that cheap five yards. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you say cheap five yards. But it's five free. Yards. Yeah, it's a free, free five yards, That's absolutely. It. Doesn't cost them much. It's just That's a little right. discipline on that front line, hard count. Nice and easy. Gives them a first and five ball sitting on the Palmdale 40. Wilson, the tailback next to Cop, trips to the top of your screen. They'll send Wilson to that trip side. Quarterback keeps it, runs ahead, got room to run, picks up about 20. Nicely designed play. They sent Wilson, the playmaker, who once he goes in motion, sort of an all eyes on him sort of thing. They give him a little look, and then they go right up the gut with Cop, and he had a lot of room to run there. He really did that time. It looks like he's getting ready to break one of them. Kohler came in there, or out. They'll stay in that trips to the top of your screen. He's going to look back to that one-man side. They're trying to roll Wilson out there and a little behind him. Nicely designed play. Wheeling Wilson out of the backfield, trying to get him a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Looked like he had a step with a throw just a little bit underthrown. Couldn't connect up with him. Three oh four left to go in this third quarter. Vikings looking to extend that lead. Shovel. Wilson on the reception. Flag down. down near the 20 yard mm -hmm. line. That wind starting to pick up. I don't know uh -oh, if you can hear. It looks hear. like Wilson's a little slow getting up right oh, now. It looks like he is. It was an awkward kind of tackle. I don't know yeah. if it was a strict horse collar, but it was around that area. Uh, it looks like cramps. It looks yeah. like a cramp out there. He's got a uh, teammate stretching him out. Mm. That's an advocate moment right there. They need some rehydrate. Isn't it? Yeah, Isn't it? yeah that's our number one of our most popular drinks. The rehydrate eliminates cramping. So, Absolutely. Uh, 
And cramping something you do see early in the season. Yeah. Guys haven't quite worked themselves in the game shape. They might have run a lot during the summer, but until you're in the game blowing out all that adrenaline, it's hard to replicate that. And uh, so tell, tell me about Advocare Rehydrate. What, uh, say I want to, if I'm just drinking water, what, is, what does Advocare do over something just like drinking water to help you like avoid cramps? Well, water is very important, as you know. I mean, right, there's 70% plus water, but you need to replace those electrolytes. Winning and those takes hard work, dedication, and sodium. Mm-hmm. And, Professional you know, and world class so athletes use the, Advocare products. The Advocare Rehydrate is great for Why? It. it has a one to one ratio of potassium sodium. Scientifically so now the body can actually independently the tested, get those electrolytes and proven. Those other color drinks, they don't have that one to one ratio right. and it's so it's, are you looking for results really pointless advocate it's just kind of a good Use looking it. drink the pros and loaded with sugar and it'll actually cause you to cramp more yeah so good he's been able to get up and he's there. up on his feet limping and that looks pretty clearly like a cramp but we've been down in the south where it's real hot alabama and stuff like that had yeah. teams that are really troubled with uh cramping we bring in that rehydrate say try this and boom, they don't have another problem again. And that's important, right? You know, yep. you got one of your key players right here. He's got to be out for at least one play. Yeah, and we can't afford to lose him yep. for a game or even a couple plays. You know, a lot of times back before products like Advocare were on the market, there was Pickles. a lot of eating bananas and doing that sort of thing. Pickles. Yeah. yeah. Second and 20, they're going to send Doyle in motion. Fake to him. Looks like Smalls, he's got room to run, and oh, he is moving. And oh, just brought down by his shoestrings. Otherwise, he was gone for six. Yeah. Showing a little speed there. That's right. Hey, I saw it five you years ago. You saw it early. <laughs> Real Andrews. Yeah. Seeing it early. He did. Well, you know, he was tracked. That's his thing. Yeah. He's very, very fast. Yeah. I mean, he got ahead of steam there and just nicked on lucky. the ankles. And yeah, mm-hmm. and otherwise, he would still be running so first and goal now mm. whistle blows it dead they got Doyle sitting down we don't like to see Why that a little early movement false start on the Vikings going to back him up against the Vikings we'll move it back five This is, you know, as a coach, um, both sides, this is one of those games where you're going to go back and you say, you know, we can't have this, this many penalties, this many miscues. I mean, this is turnovers. Turnovers, yeah. yeah. This is not. But it's better to get out of the way early. Let's go correct sure. it. Rolling to the right. He's going to scramble. Taking some hits there. Stud that kid right there, i got to tell you. He's an amazing baseball player, too, by the way. Cop? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, he's a phenomenal. He's a catcher, I believe. He's the catcher. And uh, yeah, I think he plays with junior varsity or varsity on the baseball team. So second and a long goal, Kopp will stay in the shotgun. Kind of a bunch set look there. He's got a man and under throws it and nearly intercepted. Perhaps should have been intercepted. He was looking for Quan Glasgow there in the end zone. Couldn't get enough mustard on the throw to get it out to him and barely nearly undercut and going the other way by the Palmdale man. Yeah. So, you know, both ways. I mean, that was like, you got to grab that, man. I mean, that's, that's a gift right there. You call it a cheap five. That's a, yep. that's a cheap interception right there. Yeah, that's a, that's a gimme right there. But as they say, there's a reason why some kids play, play defensive back and not receiver. But, yeah. So you play ball back in high school? Play a little ball back in Alabama. Oh, you from out? That's right, you from out. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Play a little yeah. ball back there. So what do you think? How's roll tide this year? Uh, I mean, we got to find a quarterback. If we find a quarterback, I think we'll be all right. But 
I think every every everywhere else along that that roster is pretty stacked with talent, and you get a quarterback to play a little like cop, no mm -hmm. no mistakes, just deliver mm -hmm. the ball and keep keep it from being turned over. I think we we should be okay. We want to make sure we definitely find that before next year when the big game USC Alabama uh -oh. at AT and T. That's going to be a big one. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's the that's the opening game, right? Yeah. I forgot about that. Well, that's big because that's got a lot of history behind it. Yeah. Yeah. They played it what, in the '60s. There was mm -hmm. a couple of games like that mm -hmm. that were big. That's right. Cop will roll left. We're looking for Smalls. And it's gonna fall that's incomplete. Bring, bring up fourth, fourth down. Fourth and a long goal. We've got a kicking team. We can kick. Yeah, is it, is it Fobles or Fobles? He's He's got a nice leg. He's, yeah. he's shown that off already. We've actually got a couple guys who can kick, but it looks like they're going with. I think they're going to take a, take a shot here. Smalls. The receiver is up top. Glasgow, the other. Yeah, I think they're feeling the confident they can get it to Smalls. They tried that little <laughs> tunnel screen underneath and just could not connect. It's going to be a turnover on downs. That score is going to stay one possession difference, 22-14. Valencia up, but... Palmdale forcing the turnover on downs and they get it back and still in it. Still have a shot. Well, you know, it's been a pleasure. I'm going to let you finish off. I just want to make sure guys, you go ahead, get the subscription so you can share these great times with your family. And if you reach out to us on behalf of Avocare, you can save $20. So $49 to get all the games. That's a value right there. Absolutely. That's all freshman games brought to you by Live Play Sports in part with Avocare. want to thank Rial for coming down. Rial, thanks a lot. We'll My talk pleasure. to you later. All right, take care. And I wasn't just saying it because Rio was in here with me. This mango pineapple electrolyte replacement drink is pretty, pretty tasty. So after the penalty, that's going to knock the Falcons back. Going to give them first and about 15, maybe 20, somewhere around there. Regardless, they're standing in the shadow of their own end zone as the sun falls. Take a shot, throwing it up, looking for 44. Oh, and he barely nearly made another circus catch. You can tell that is pretty much their offense. Run the ball, run the ball, run the ball, take a shot at 44 because that kid can make a play with the ball in the air. And they are just throwing it up for him and trying to get him one-on-one, -on -one, see if he can't go up and get it. That time he was nearly able to, but in the end could not corral it. So it'll be second down now. 24 seconds left to go in this third quarter. Hand off. Not much there. Tackled by Thomas. Looked like it was Thomas on the play. Short gain on the play will bring up a third and about 16. So third and long now and a timeout called by Pump. Nope, it's the end of the quarter, not a timeout. So we'll swap sides of the field. And the Falcons will try to convert this third and long. They've done it before this game. They will try, try to convert a third and very, very long. 
and the Vikings will try to maintain and perhaps even increase their eight point lead. It's 22 to 14, Valencia up over Palmdale. You're watching LivePlaySports.tv's coverage of the Valencia freshman football squad brought to you in part by AdvoCare. We'll be right back. Third down, we've swapped into the field. Falcons rushing a 11th player out there. Looks like they were missing a left tackle there. Working out of the shotgun. Stepping up in the pocket, pressure there. He eludes one tackle and then another. He's got room to run. Flag on the field though. He's gonna be dragged out of bounds by number 15, Rue Manami. But we'll see what that flag is. It's in that area of holding and it is holding. It'll be one of those half the distance calls. And so that takes out a big chunk play for the Falcons. They were sitting pretty after being backed up to third and long. They got a nice scramble out of their quarterback, but that holding call wipes it all out. This Vikings pass rush has been pretty tenacious and forced a couple of holding calls, gotten several sacks. and. Really just gotten after the quarterback all day. And that was another case there, that Vikings pass rush being too much for the Falcons offensive line, picking up the holding call, wiping out a nice run by the quarterback. Third and around 20 now. Quarterback standing in his own end zone to receive the snap. Pressure coming, he gets it off, looking for 44. It's a 50-50 ball, and it's caught. It is caught, what a play by this kid for Palmdale. I mean, remember his name, I don't know it because we didn't get rosters from Palmdale, <laughs> but I wish I did know it because this kid has been making plays all day as a split out receiver going up high point in the ball and really sort of developing a reputation here at Dr. Paul Pre Stadium. I wouldn't be surprised if they went after him again. He's here lined up to the bottom of your screen. Quarterback dropping back, flag immediately. And oh, and it looked for all the world like that could have been a decletion. But I think the it was Doyle in coverage. I think he couldn't decide whether or not to go for the interception or go for the big hit. And in the end, he sort of just forced the incompletion and chose halfway between both options. But a flag down, maybe an illegal formation on Palmdale. They will move them back five. Looks like a little bit of miscommunication from the refs. They're getting it sorted out. So they'll, they'll back them up five. Both teams have done a lot of shooting themselves in the foot today and it's, it's somewhat to be expected uh, week one on the freshman level you know you're, you're still dialing in 
your execution as a unit. A lot of procedural penalties, some turnovers thrown in there on both sides. And that sort of sloppiness, uh, you want to see that cleaned up as the season progresses and, and, and try to get rid of it as best you can because that's sort of what separates the winning football teams from the, uh, the mediocre ones. The teams that don't kill themselves, the teams that, uh, that force the other team to beat them instead of beating themselves. Anyways, first and 15. Falcons out of the shotgun, that wildcat look. He'll give it. And he's still on his feet, breaking a tackle. It's a foot race. Will they be able to catch him? I don't think so. Touchdown, Palmdale. And just like that, lightning strikes. And if Palmdale can convert the two-point conversion, we'll have a tie ball game. After Valencia has sort of had their way for most of the game, all of a sudden we're looking at a two-point ball game with the chance for the tie as Palmdale will undoubtedly attempt the two-pointer here with 10.42 left to go in the fourth quarter. They do elect to go for two. They're operating out of the shotgun. Regular quarterback back in. Across the middle and complete. After a pretty big collision, it was Kelly who met him. And came out of it a little worse for the wear after trying to dislodge that ball. Nice job by the receiver, number 80, keeping possession of it. And how about that? We said you, you let this team hang around. They'll make you pay, and all of a sudden we've got ourselves a ball game. It's all tied up, 22 to 22. Palmdale refusing to die, refusing to give up. They kept getting up off the mat. They kept coming and swinging, and Valencia, who perhaps thought that they had this thing in the bag, have now got to fight to put this thing back on their side of the fence. And I, I think this is the type of situation where you find out what kind of ball club you got, what kind of uh, character you have on your team. And, and so often that's, that's what makes a winner is how you respond to adversity in football. Smalls going to fall on it. Valencia will take up at the 32. So we'll see how Valencia reacts uh, to the shot in the mouth a little bit. After controlling most of this game, Palmdale refusing to die has tied it up. And now Cop and company will try to answer and take this league right back. Ball on the Valencia 32, Wilson next to Cop. Four wide, two by two. Cop will keep it himself. Cop on the keeper. He'll pick up about five, it looks like. Maybe a little bit more, maybe six. About a five yard gain on the play. Maybe a six yard gain will bring up a second and about four. So they've they've utilized that quarterback keeper off the uh, the zone read pull couple times and have seen some, some have seen some success with it Wilson commanding a lot of attention after some pretty impressive runs early on wouldn't be surprised if they went right back to Wilson here they will give to Wilson flag on the play but he's still on his feet we'll see if it's coming back but he is making some men miss and finally drug down at about the 36 yard line and there's a couple of Falcons down Along with that flag, hopefully they're all right. We'll check in with them as we figure out what this call is from the referees. I 
Again, hopefully it's just a case of cramping. It's going to be holding, so it's going to be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Going to back him up to the 23-yard line. So that's going to be a second and 13 now as those Falcons are still getting attention. They might have ran into each other. They sort of fell around the same area. Or hopefully it's just cramps here in week one. So one man is up and another, it looks like, yep. They will walk off unassisted. That's always great to see. Always great to see guys walk off underneath their own power. Looks like they were just a little shooken up there. But we will get back to it and after the penalty. Valencia staring at a second and 14. Got looking left, got pressure from behind, gets it off, complete flag down, probably going to be a late hit. It was complete, no, it was incomplete rather. Doyle could not collect that pass, but it's not going to matter anyways because there was a late hit on Cop. The rusher from Palmdale just couldn't help himself. He had a bead on him and Cop got rid of it, but got hit anyways. Referee judges it a little too late, throws the flag. That's a 15-yard penalty. Going to give the Vikings a first down. So they're bailed out a little bit by Palmdale. Once again, penalties having a pretty big influence on this game. They'll go trips to the top of your screen. Doyle in the slot there. He's been targeted a lot this game. Taking a shot down the field. It is Doyle, and he catches it. Flag on the play. I think it might be defensive pass interference. So that play will stand. What a catch by Doyle. He was getting face guarded. He comes back to the ball and makes a nice catch. A little wheel route it looked like that he was doing out of the slot, moving to the sideline. The Referee's conferring, we'll see what they say. Oh, and it's offensive pass interference. That is a blow to the gut if you're a Valencia Vikings fan. They're saying that Doyle pushed off there in order to come back to the ball. You'll be able to see on replay, I'm sure, Unfortunately, I don't have a screen in front of me, so I assume you're able to see the replay so you can make the call for yourself on whether or not that was an offensive pass interference. So that's going to be a big penalty, 15 or yeah, 15 yards back for the Vikings. So they're looking at first and 25. Nine thirty-four left to go in this final quarter. Whistles. Put a stop to play. The line judge getting something figured out. Looks like he's got it. So we'll get back going. Quarterback. Overthrown yeah, intended for Doyle. Complete. Cop just couldn't yeah. drop it down for his man. Doyle's been a target monster here 
throughout this game. He, they've been looking for him early and often. He made a nice play on that last one. Got tagged for the pass interference call. They try to go right back up to him and uh, can't quite connect. It'll stay 25 yards to go for this first down. Now moves to second down. Cop joined in the backfield by Wilson. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Showing blitz from that middle linebacker position. He will stay. But pressure comes and clotheslines. Cop drops him for the sack. A big hit and Palmdale is starting to believe that they can win this football game. And so that sack will bring the Vikings back even further. About third and 23 now, maybe more. And they'll do a little quick punt. And the safety will track it back and try to make something happen. Flag down. Interesting decision. They haven't punted all day. And then on third down, they decide to quick punt it out of the uh, standard shotgun formation. Not necessarily a bad call, just uh, an interesting one. It was third and a long ways. That penalty, I believe, is going to be on Palmdale. We'll see how much it is and what it is. There's a block in the back on the return. So what would have been an excellent field position is only just so-so position now for the Palmdale Falcons, but 70 yards, and they will take the lead for the first time in this ball game with 8.26 left to go in the game. Vikings have led from the very get-go, starting their scoring off with a safety. But Palmdale has stayed in it and has refusing to give up. Quarterback keeper, he's running up the middle. He's still on his feet, tackled by Andrews but not before he picks up a first down, but what a punishing hit by Marcus Andrews. Quarterback, slow to get up. And they're gonna call time for him to get some attention. You know, you hate to see guys hurt. Football is of course a violent game. The coaches are famous for telling their defensive players anytime that quarterback decides to run you make him pay so that he doesn't want to run anymore because an effective running quarterback is quite the weapon for an offense and when a defense can hit that quarterback over and over give him some of those punishing blows and go a long way towards taking a uh, certain element out of the offense's repertoire and that might be the case there is Andrews laid the wood on his counterpart, the, the opposite number 10 for Palmdale. He is back on his feet and jogging to the sideline, and it looked like he just got his breath blown out of him by the hit from Andrews, and I, I think that's what it is. He'll have to sit out of play. But good to see him run off under his own power. So we'll see what Palmdale does at quarterback after their starter is forced out. They might go back to that wildcat look that they've shown a lot throughout the game with number four back there. Valencia lining four guys up across that defensive line. It is that wildcat look. Four joined by 27 in the Palmdale backfield. He'll keep it. Got a little room to run. Fighting for extra yardage. Yardage. Brimer 
is the man that brings him down, but not before Brett another Oakland, first Michael. down off of a design quarterback run. And into Valencia territory, that ball sitting at the 43-yard line. And that clock takes under eight minutes. And Palmdale more and more starting to sap the strength out of this Valencia defense. They're not controlling the line of scrimmage as dominantly as they were in the early going. It looks like Valencia is bringing pressure along that right side, but a delay of game is going to be yet another penalty. This one against the Falcons, and again, a case of a team getting some momentum and then shooting themselves in the foot with a procedural call. A lot of material for coaches to take back in the film room and say, look, we cannot do this, guys. You cannot win football games playing like this. You have a good series, you have a good play, and then you get a uh, delay a game. Takes the life right out of your drive. First and 15 now. Ball moved back to the Valencia 48. And another flag down. We'll see what this one is. Surely not. Another delay a game call. Wow. That's not something you see very often. Two delay of games back to back. And uh, Palmdale will just go right to the line of scrimmage. They won't even huddle up. Maybe a case of that quarterback being out. Their leader not in there to call the plays. And four will keep it. Cuts up underneath, but Kelly is there along with 93 Dardarian making the stop. Very nice job, especially by Dardarian for the big fella, moving down the line of scrimmage, pursuing the ball and helping Kelly finish that tackle. And you like to see that, especially here late. These players get tired. A lot of guys having to go both ways. Guys still showing that will to win, still fighting on every down. Second and about 16. Give to 17 and met. I tell you, he was met by Joshua Doyle, who's seen a lot of action on offense. He's playing corner on defense, and he came up and laid a stiff one on 17, who had some momentum behind him. Going to bring up third and 13. Bring up a third and 13. And... I was going to say if 10 was back in the game that I, I'd be surprised if they don't take a shot at 44, but four was still out there running that wildcat. We're not sure how Palmdale's starting quarterback is doing after that hit by Andrews, but Palmdale burns a timeout. And, uh, Winning takes hard work, step dedication, for a moment. and commitment. Professional and world-class athletes try use that. Try to figure out a game plan on how to take this tie ball Why? game and make it theirs. Because they We've work. Got Scientifically formulated, you're watching independently tested, and proven TV. to give us the results that we're looking to compete at a championship level. Are you looking for results? Advocare. Use it. The pros do. Third and 13. And they're staying in that Wildcat formation. Bad snap. And he will be forced to just fall on it. Grayson Thomas in pursuit. It wasn't a terrible snap. It was just a uh, not a good catch, really, by the, uh, by the quarterback there. I think he was maybe thinking about his read. And didn't make sure he gathered that ball in first. Regardless, it'll be fourth and very long, and Palmdale will punt. 
and uh, a wasted opportunity for them and Valencia all too ready to get this ball back and get something going on offense. Oof, it falls into Smalls' hand. Very nearly could have been disastrous. He'll take it and do what he can with it and run out to about the 34 of Valencia. It, he was around the ball when it sort of landed short and then it took a killer hop right into his bread basket and he's lucky that thing didn't hit a knee, hit an ankle and just go way away from him and become a live ball that Palmdale could have easily jumped on. But in the end, the ball bounces the way of Valencia and they will take over first and 10 at their 34 yard line with 5.52 left to go in the game. It's that quarterback sneak formation look. Nope, he'll roll out to the right with it, trying to get to the outside. He's got a little room to run. It'll be tackled out of bounds after crossing the 40. Picks up about eight. They got an interesting little package when they do that. Too. They put everybody in tight. The past couple times they've done that, they've either ran it with the fullback or, or just had the quarterback keep it himself. That time, maybe working off of that previously established play calls, they rolled Cop out to the right, and he got a, a nice seven, eight yards with that speed of his. No, they will return to that same formation. A little bit of the wishbone, it looks like, yeah. Toss. Wilson, the ball carrier. Wilson. Has the first down. Brought down near the 49-yard line. That double wing offense, a little motion toss to Wilson. Just finding ways to get the ball to their playmaker. And he barrels ahead for the first down out to around midfield. There is a flag on the play. wave it off this game is coming up on two and a half hours it's been a long one the resumes Vikings will have it first and ten at their own 49 timeout Falcons and a timeout by the Falcons will send both teams back to their sidelines to the double wing. This time it's Doyle in motion. They'll toss it to him. Student body left, and he's brought down by the ankles after a nice seven-yard game. Just motion toss, trying to wear this defense down, grind out this clock, and mount a scoring drive to cap this thing off with the W. Stay in the double wing. Wilson in motion, toss to Wilson. Wilson the ball carrier. Probing and dances ahead. A little bit of action and a little bit of extracurricular activity between two for Palmdale and 23 Thomas for Valencia. A little bit of chippiness after the play.
Penalty will be assessed against the Falcons. Penalty will give the Vikings the first down. Penalty will move the ball to the 26 yard line where the Vikings will have it, first and 10. So after that 15 yard personal foul on Palmdale, Valencia will move up to the 25 of the Falcons. 4.53 now, left in the ball game. Hand off to Thomas, he's looking to get to the outside, breaks one tackle, races to the front, still on his feet. He's rumbling, and he will be forced out of bounds at about the five. Powerful running from Grayson Thomas. Showing a little bit of the edge out there, finishing that run with authority. He was involved in that. A little bit of uh, extra activity after that last play. They decided to give him the ball. He takes it up the gut, gets to the outside, shows a little speed, shows a little power from that fullback spot. They'll go back to that double wing formation. This time it will be the keeper, Cop, still on his feet. He will score. So they go to the double wing. And they march it down the field methodically. And it's Cop, the signal caller, who finishes it off with the quarterback keeper. It's been a very effective play for them all game. But there's a lot of different running backs that got touches. It was Doyle, it was Wilson, it was Thomas, and then it was Cop who capped it off with the keeper from about four yards out. Kick. And freshman converts, and that will give Valencia the 29 to 22 seven point lead. With about 4:34 left in this game, you're watching LivePlaySports.tv's coverage of the Valencia freshman football season, brought to you in part by LivePlay. We'll be right back to finish this thing out. Winning takes hard work, dedication, and commitment. Professional and world-class athletes use AdvoCare products. Why? Because they work. Scientifically formulated, independently tested, and proven to give us the results that we're looking for, to compete at a championship level. Are you looking for results? AdvoCare, use it, the pros do. Fogel back to kick. Wouldn't be surprised to see this squib here. No, he will take a hack at it. And it will be caught at around the 20. And he is met by Glasgow. Quan Glasgow on the coverage. Tackle Tackles him at around the 30 yard line. And that's where the Falcons will take over. Just under 430 left to go in this ball game. We'll see uh, if that quarterback that was Returning knocked out of the game by Andrews is hit if he returns. And yep, 10 is back in the ball game. And I think we can expect some more throws down the field to the electric receiver for the Falcons. And see if he can't will his team down the field. They'll line up in the shotgun. 44 down to the bottom of your screen. They'll give it to 17, looking to get wide. And he's tripped up. It looked like it was Doyle. Got him around the ankles. Nice submarine tackle by Joshua Doyle. 17, he had a little steam behind him. Making 
some nice, nice moves, but cut down in his tracks by the corner left out there on an island. 4.01 in this fourth quarter. That clock now, Valencia's friend, Palmdale's enemy. Trips to the bottom of your screen. Keep an eye on 44. And it's caught by one. Gain of about six, gonna bring out third and six, it looks like. Trips to the bottom. A lot of pressure in the backfield. He's going to be brought down. Looked like it was 56. Justice Forbes making a play in the backfield, bringing up the fourth down. It's fourth and 11. And you got to think Palmdale's going to go for it with 2.40 left to go in this ball game. Kind of a do or die moment for the Falcons. They've got to have it. 44, bottom of your screen, split out wide. They're looking the other way. And it's intercepted. Marcus Andrews goes up and gets it. And unless something crazy happens, ices the cake for this week one win for Valencia High School freshman. It was a nice play by Andrews. He was one-on-one -on -one with the Palmdale receiver running up the seam, and he went up and high-pointed it and brought it down. He's made plays in a variety of ways, forcing fumbles, making sacks, and on that one, coming up with a game-sealing interception. And I say game ceiling, there's still 2.15 left on the clock, still plenty of time for something crazy to happen. And when you're dealing with freshmen, crazy seems to be the name of the game more often than not. They'll go back to that double wing look. But a timeout by Valencia, they want to get things settled before they start what they hope the last drive of the ball game. Winning takes hard work, dedication, and commitment. Professional and world-class athletes use AdvoCare products. Why? Because they work. Scientifically formulated, independently tested, and proven to give us the results that we're looking for. To compete at a championship level. Are you looking for results? Advocare. Use it. The pros do. Alright, we'll get back to the action. Still in that double wing is Valencia, cop under center. Fumble on the play, picked up by Thomas, but he had a knee down. Looked like a bad exchange between quarterback and center. And very nearly had disaster fall upon them. Thomas alertly picks it up and keeps possession ticked towards the Vikings. Second and 12 now after the two-yard loss. It looks like Valencia is going back to their base offense. They are taking a lot of time to get this thing called. They will give it to Doyle off the handoff. He'll be tackled after he gets passed around the original line of scrimmage. 
And looks like the Falcons will burn a timeout to stop that clock at 119. 119 left to go in the game. Valencia with the ball and up seven. Palmdale needs a stop. They need it now. And then they need to go and score. Third and about nine. We'll see if they can manage it. They certainly think so. Burning a timeout here, keeping this game going. Trying to figure out a way to get that ball back. You're watching Live Play Sports. Dot TV. Third and nine now. Back in their base offense is Valencia. Shotgun formation. Wilson next to Cop. They will fake it to Wilson. Cop looking down the field, takes his shot. He's got Smalls just outside his reach. Interesting play call there. Taking a shot on third down to try to ice this game instead of running it. And now fourth down now and decision time for Valencia. They haven't punted a lot on fourth down. Be surprised if they didn't here. It's Smalls wrapped up, and Palmdale will get the back the ball back on their own 40. So with a minute two seconds left to go in the game, Falcons staring down 60 yards to try to tie this thing up against all odds. We will see what they can come up with. I was highlighting 44 on that last drive. He's made plays all game. They elected to go the other way. We'll see if they don't come back to him here. Quarterback keeps it, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. It was 56, Justice Forbes, who wrapped him up and brought him down for what was a big, big tackle for loss. Loss is back to the 33 yard line. And that clock's running. Palmdale has no timeouts left. They've just got to snap it and try to make something happen. Drop back, looking deep. Shoots it for 44, and oh, my goodness, he caught that ball. This kid is unbelievable. I mean, he took a hit, too, there. Fell right on his back, and he is hurt. He's hurt. He's got to come off the field. He went up for that ball. Got put horizontal. And he's out there, and he's just got to go down. Coach is telling him to just go down. He was hurt trying to come off the field. And I'm not sure what the ruling is. I know in college that if a player hits the dirt uh, inside two minutes and the, uh, the team does not have a timeout left, then it's a penalty because a lot of teams with hurry-up, no-huddle offenses, a lot of opposing teams are coaching their players to just drop to the ground in order to stop the clock and give their guys a rest. So to combat that, the uh, NCAA implemented that rule. I don't know what the rule is here, but it looks like they're going to get him off the field and, and get the clock back rolling. Simple as that. 20 seconds left now. Looking to just take a shot. He unleashes it. Ball in the air. Intercepted. I believe it was Kate Erickson. Number three, Kate Erickson playing safety. Tall, lean athlete goes up and gets it. And that ought to do it with seven seconds left. Give all the credit in the world to Palmdale for making a game out of this one. They refused to die. They kept coming back. They kept standing back up after getting punched in the mouth by, Valen by, by Valencia. But in the end, 
Just not enough firepower in the cannon to get this thing out from underneath the Valencia Vikings. And expect to see Cop simply take a knee here and close this thing out. He hits knee to turf and the clock will run to zero. And that'll be all she wrote. Valencia freshman getting off to the kind of start that they envisioned. Maybe not the way in which they envisioned it, but all in all, a win in the bank. They got to be pretty happy about that. Palmdale, Palmdale Falcons, tough in defeat, but it is the Valencia Vikings who triumph. You've been watching LivePlaySports.tv's coverage of Valencia freshman games on Thursday night. I'd like to thank Riel Andrews for joining me in the booth from Advocare. I'm Jake Bittner signing off for Live Play. Have a good night.